um, it said Happy Easter. It's got some Easter eggs on there. Operation started. This beautiful jade tail wall, it's going to be. The rain is just not playing. What is that? Is that a rabbit? I don't know what it is. A squirrel? <laughs> Trying to get um, a nice tall. Um, what do you call it? No stand, so she can be on a height like that in the garden. <laughs> Happy Easter, you guys! Happy Easter to you! Say hello to my bunny. <laughs> Hello, 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 my friends. Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome back, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another one of my video. And of course, you know, you are at my university, the university of my life. My name is Classy Andro, if you're first time here, and you are watching Classy Andro TV. Okay, my channel is about me, guys, my life, things that I do day to day. And also, if I'm going on vacation, I will share with you, you know, what I do on my vacation. I have two children, a boy and a girl. And so occasionally, you will see my daughter mainly in my video. My son, not so much, but I'm, tr I'm working on him, guys. I'm working on him to get him involved in my video. He's got a disability. I can't say too much about it because I don't want to infringe too much on his privacy, okay? But, um, yeah. So, welcome to Classy Andrews TV. Where have I been? Guys, I've been here, guys. I haven't given up and I'm not gone. I have been so busy, you know? I have been busy um, decorating my house. After the Christmas season, it was a job to get the house back to some form of normality. Because <laughs> Christmas is, you know, a big thing for me. And I do get a little bit down when it's over to take down all the beautiful decorations and stuff. Uh, my last video was my birthday video. And um, that is on private, but I will be releasing all my videos now, guys. I... The reason why I did have my videos on private because I was figuring different ways to actually make a capital. It has been working for me, if I'm going to be honest with you, but I realized that um, there are other persons that definitely can't afford them, um, you know, to pay me to watch my videos. And uh, yeah, so I kind of think about things and then realize that, you know, maybe I should not do that, okay? I'm just figuring ways out, guys, to make a capital from my videos, and that's just what it is. It's not anything, um, you know, trivial, really. But yes, but I'm back, and I will definitely start to have a schedule with my content. I definitely will, okay? <laughs> uh, so never mind, I do have a video for you today, and I do have clips that I can share with you that I've been doing, you know, painting. And also, this is my first year I have tried to um, decorate for spring, for Easter. So happy spring to you all, guys. Happy spring. I've never decorated for spring before, but I see some beautiful little decor in the shop and I decided to get a few bits and bob here and I'll share that with you. I'll had the clips along here. Okay. So, yeah, um, also, um, I have been going to the charity shop, which most of you probably or elsewhere call it thrift store. I've been, you know, looking around the charity shop here in the UK, and there are some pretty interesting things there. Um, the reason why I start end up going to the charity shop is because of my son. He loves vintage stuff guys not clothes like dvd and cd and stuff like that and because also uh, my son used to go to uh, um he used to get support with his disability but the service is not that good and so now he decided he doesn't want to do it anymore so i have to take up that responsibility and so 
um, I accompanied him to the charity shop and I've seen some pretty interesting things in there. I'm like, whoa, I've been missing out on going thrifting. So I can show you, I will show you some of the stuff that I've been thrifting in another video, but I can show you just a bit here. Well, this one here, um, look at this nice little thing here. Love it. It says the south view of the Tower of London. It looks so vintage, guys. I like these type of things. You know, I'm an old-fashioned type of girl. Even though I have been making an effort to modernize my house just a little bit. But I don't want to modernize it too much because I am a old-fashioned type of girl. And I still want to feel as if I live here. Okay? There is another one I've got here. Look how beautiful that look. You never will normally get this into a regular store or if you do it might not have that feel it does have that vintage look that feel to it that old-fashioned um, energy yeah so and the price I paid for it was three pounds fifty and it was the same three pound fifty for the other one as well so there are some pretty inexpensive stuff in the thrift shop you know a lot of Jamaicans doesn't like going to a thrift shop because they probably think that is old things, old rock. You know, Jamaican people are funny. Yeah. And also, <clears throat> I've been buying some books as well in there. Uh, let's see. Because I love to read, guys. I love to read. Yeah. So I'll share some of these things with you, as I said, in another video. Okay. So anyway, I've got a lot of things to do today. I'll be heading out in the garden and try and attempt to do some gardening. Because normally, this time of the year, my garden will be nice and beautiful. But it, the winter really got me this year, guys. When I, when I say caught me, it caught me mentally. I've been so low in terms of um, getting up and get things going, get doing things. You know, but as I say, that's life. You have to take the rough with the smooth. You have to, when face challenges like this, in terms of you cannot get things done, like, you know, push on. And I've been pushing on. But I'm just giving myself too much of a hard time because I've been getting things done. Because I said, I have decorated this place from top to bottom. I've painted the doors different color. I've painted inside here. And also... I've been sorting things out in my kitchen. So I've been doing stuff, okay? <laughs> so anyway, let's get on with the video. Let's show you what I've been doing. And happy Easter, y'all guys. Happy Easter, happy spring to you. I think I'm going to change the color of these doors because the place, this little entrance hall here is just too dark. So maybe if I change these two doors, maybe if I paint it white, it might just brighten up this area. And also, my concern is this is um, laminate. And so I'm trying to see if I can paint this laminate. I'm not sure if the paint will stick to it. So I'm just getting some paint stripper. I mean some varnish stripper to see if I can you know rough it up a little bit then get some sandpaper and hopefully the paint will stick to it okay so this is the varnish stripper that I am using I actually picked this varnish stripper up in b and I'm not I don't think it's that good if I'm going to be honest with you it's making such a mess but you know I'll just see I'll let you know Oh, I get on yeah okay I would just advise get some sandpaper and just sand it down guys you know these things are just too much chemical unnecessary so I'm not sure I'll recommend it but if you're looking for a varnish stripper maybe you could try this one okay this is the first coat of primer guys a few more coats to go but you know what guys i did sand it down i think that the stripper did do a lot <laughs> i think that did a lot so i just went ahead and started prime it 
a few more priming a few more coats of priming to go and yeah so that's the inside there you go wow the rain is just not playing it's not even rain it's storm it's wind well storm come with wind isn't it <laughs> But you get the drift what I'm trying to say here. Wow. At least the daffodils are out and they are quite pretty. I haven't been out there guys. Lord. It's just not gardening time in no way shape or form. But as you can see. The daffodils are out in their glory. Yeah. And at the back of the yard you can see they're all out. They're all out. Unfortunately, this year I haven't managed to do any type of arrangement to enjoy them as I would like to. But the weather is not allowing it. And also, if you can see there, that's my camellia. It survived, guys. You can see it survived the very dreaded um, cold, freezing weather we had like a few weeks back. This, they bounce back and they're in bloom as you can see there guys steaming not steaming windy cold wet weather here in the UK in the back of my yard yeah look at the grass it is so high man and it does keep growing I don't know when I'm going to get the chance to cut this grass. I might just get cutting shear and just kind of trim it down a little bit. I might. Because when the grass is too tall, it's going to be too much of a job to cut it. And also, um, when I finally cut it, the grass is not going to be that healthy. So yeah, the rain just, it just seems like it's going to be a very rainy uh spring seems like but anyway i also got myself something for the garden as you can see here yeah what is that, is that a rabbit i don't know what it is a squirrel <laughs> looks like a rabbit got that there you know all of my ornaments and also i've got this little angel here as well there you go so I think I'm just going to put that outside here. Yeah, there it is. Ah. I'm trying to get um, a nice tall, um, what do you call it, a stand. So she can be on a height like that in the garden. Don't know where I'm going to find that. But yeah, as I said, it's rainy, you guys. And you can see there that the daffodils are absolutely going lost here you know by this time my patio was nicely tidy that's why you have to tidy your garden <laughs> the year before because in the following year there's no um it's a it's, it's possible that it will be this wet and rainy and i'm not going to get a chance to like organize out here that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but let me show you that tulip there is coming through. Look how beautiful that tulip is. There you go. That's nice, isn't it, guys? Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, and there are a few more tulips coming out. And the camellia, as you can see there, it did survive. I'm going to cut it all the way down this year. Shape it into a ball or something. Yeah. Look at the rabbit looking at me. It got some funny eyes, isn't it? <laughs> Staring at me. Wow. And of course, the little lady is right beside him with her ball, the angel. Yeah, wet, wet, wet. The rain just keep falling. Wow. 
Hello, it's England. <laughs> Got these um, pics here. It's um, it said Happy Easter. It's got some Easter eggs on there, decorated with like Easter eggs with the different color, yellow, you know, bright, cheerful kind of Easter looking color, purple and pink. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I just got two. Yes. So I'm going to just put this other one inside this walls here as well. See, so I put that one there. So I've got this other one I'm going to put in there. Because as I said before, this is my first year. I am actually decorating for Easter. Not really decorating, but you know, like kind of have a few Easter, um, you know, stuff around just to ring in the Easter. Okay? Yeah. So, as you can see here, guys, operation started. This beautiful jade tail wall, it's going to be going. I did said I have to stick to my word <laughs> that this wall here, even though it's so beautiful over the Christmas season, go and watch my Christmas video, guys. Go and get the views up. Oh, beautiful it was. But as I said, this ceiling is this house is a low ceiling and it just trapped this color here, trapped the light and it's just not working for me so i have decided to paint it i've been back and forth as to what color to change it to if i might change it back to cream or you know lemon yellow yeah yeah the color that i have in the kitchen because i love yellow guys but i decided to go along with the frosted silver because it's closer to the white because that I'm not going to change right there as you can see where the shelving is right around there is going to remain white it has been white for a long time and I think I want to leave it that way I'll change it sometime but not now but this wall going all the way around here in the dining room going all the way back uh, I'm going to change it back to something brighter as I said um, frosted silver okay the frosted silver I have out here because also guys as you can see I am painting <laughs> I'm doing so much stuff at once I am painting these doors as well guys as you can see there I just show you in the last clip that I started to change the color of this laminated mahogany looking door I just don't like it I haven't I really didn't like it I was planning and changing the kitchen door to a glass door but you know money 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 you gotta find ways to still save your money you guys because I want to do other things like traveling okay <laughs> so I just go ahead get some paint and I'm going to paint that door it will open this area here as I said this wall here is gray and that one is white so it will carry on the same theme that is here in the entrance all gray and white and I'm going to have blue accent to as you can see right up here i've been going to the charity shop this is not what the charity shop just let you know i've been going to the charity shop thrift store you call it nowadays or maybe in america they call it thrift store or canada you call it thrift store in england they call it the charity shop where you go and get some old rock <laughs> some old stuff but in there they got some nice stuff as well so i will share with you some things that I bought but anyway let's get back to what I'm on about which is changing this color here to gray let's go tips for you guys what I've learned with painting and decorating is when you are ready to paint guys start with the technical part first which is the ceiling and corners and skirting board started with those first because those are the technical part so you know when you finish that and that is like nice and neat you just push on with your roller and in no time you'll finish because the corners are and the ceiling is what take up most of the time and when you like paint 
if you go ahead and like paint the bigger part first it just give it so much more of a challenge yeah I my experience so my tip is start with the technical part the ceilings and the corners and down the skirting board area okay that's my tip for you and look at that guys the Sun is out the Sun is out just as I'm about to get rid of this color typical because the color look nice when we have brighter weather you know and the Sun is like shining on it saying that are you really getting rid of that I'm like yeah I'm getting rid of it because it's too dark and you don't come out that often mr. or mrs. son <laughs> don't pay attention to me I'm that type of person I like to had humor to whatever I'm doing because it makes the task much easier to get done in terms of like oh my god I have to go and paint all this wall here oh my god ah never mind I'll get it done right so this is where i am at your guys yeah the gray looks a bit white but you can see it's not white because if you look on that wall there that is white you see the difference yeah it's actually opened the place already the place already feel spacious my head feel better in terms of the fact that i'm not closed in by the the till the j till yes it's it's brighter this is more my kind of color really something that is bright yeah <laughs> jade is not too happy with me changing it she figured i could have used the green that i have in my room upstairs but never you mind it's a change so i've got all that left to, to do long hair and i'm not sure what i'm going to do with this wall yet i might wallpaper it as i said or I might just leave this color for another year until I decide what to do with this side because I need to sort out that fireplace from all along but timing does it but as you can see I'm actually okay with the gray you need a few more coat and yeah I'm not doing too bad y'all so this is late now guys this take me longer than I was expected but never you mind at least I finished that part completely it just need to dry and I will just do this side here tomorrow so I think I'm actually on target guys I normally take me about two days to do the whole entire room but because I'm changing from a very dark color to a lighter color it takes a lot more paint a few more coats but yeah I see what it looks like in the morning as you can see the place a bit brighter look how big the room look now yes it's not as pretty as the color here I might leave this color on the wall here until I know what I'm going to do as I said in the last clip but for what it's worth the place feel much more spacious yep one week later and I am still painting guys <laughs> um, I have been too busy guys too busy and all the time I can get to paint is in the afternoon when I'm back from my you know responsibility to make money so remember this side here I did decide to leave it in the J till but I changed my mind. I decided to just go ahead and paint the, the whole entire wall, the frosted silver, because down the bottom there, that is white and the shelving, I've got a plan for that particular area. I'm going to change that color as well. 
not sure what color yet but I have a little color in mind I'll keep to keep you up to date on that and my bookshelf right here I am going to change it as well to the same color as the shelving down there so that's another project for me later on in the year though because I'm like literally exhausted at the moment I could do with a bit of rest but yes it's coming together and I have bought some more um, I've got it all coming up to share with you with some of the stuff I've been buying at the charity shop we call it charity shop here in the UK I think in America and elsewhere you guys call it um, thrift, thrifting something like that <laughs> yeah different country people call things different stuff you guys you know so I can give you a um a little all and that okay so I just need to clean up now guys tied up this place and enjoy my newly painted living room and that door right there is going to be painted white as well because you can see that door out there that's my cloakroom door you see that is white it was this color and now it's white so there's a lot of changing going on here because this door matches the tile and you know I like to matchy matchy stuff but it, you know it's time for a change and yeah so that's it y'all that's it y'all boys yeah wow the place is so bright <laughs> I love it when it's this bright a bit boring never mind but I can have the opportunity to fill the walls now with all my different canvas and you know some wall ornaments so as you can see here guys I am on the second door I finished that one not completely but you know I'm on the second door and I'm hoping I can be a bit quicker on this one because that one did take a long time because I didn't use a roller I did use the brush so I'm just uh, decided to use a roller this time and hopefully it might just be fine yep yep there you go guys you can do stuff yourself I know sometimes you don't feel that confident especially if you're not that good at decorating but just give it a go because I got a coat as to what it will charge to paint these door and the living room and you don't want to hear the price guys you don't want to hear the price today is the driest the weather have been since October guys seriously since October I haven't managed to get to cut my grass because then the winter was on up on us and um, yeah look how tall the grass is so what I'm going to do I'm going to try and give it a cut but first I'm going to get the cutting shear and kind of like cut off some of the top and hopefully because the grass is so wet look and I don't like cutting the grass when it's wet because it doesn't give a good look and also for the season it gets stagnant or stagnated that's the word so yep first cut of the season let's go let's try and get this cross cut now
<laughs> happy Easter, you guys. Happy Easter to you. Say hello to my bunny. <laughs> the first year, as I said, I have been purchasing these little, you know, Easter. Is it, yeah. This Easter decor. And I'm actually loving it. It's not as nice as Christmas, but hey, it still give a little bit of joy to me. So happy spring. Yo. So okay guys, you got to tune in to my next video because these are some of the stuff I will be sharing in the next video that I pick up at the charity shop. I pay £3.99 for this. I did look on um, line and it's like triple times the money online guys so and this is well I'll be sharing with you some of these things that I picked up at the charity shop which is hard for you to get this in the regular store so yeah the price I paid for this was also four pounds yeah okay so with that said I will be logging off now thank you so much for coming by and watching this video okay if it's your first time here please I'm asking you go ahead and subscribe and when you do so also um, leave a comment in the comment box let me hear from you it would be nice to hear from you if not an emoji or if you feel much better you can come over to my Instagram and have a chat with me there a few of you have been doing that um you you don't want to leave trace of yourself which that's fine i don't know why you chose not to but you know not everybody really want to be seen on youtube and so um my social which is instagram is much more intimate for you and that's fine so you can come over there and you know give me a little dm and we can have a chat all right so my Instagram is Classy Andrew, Classy Andrew. So with that said, I'll see you in my next video. My next video, I'll take you to the Caribbean store and pick up some Easter stuff, Jamaican Easter stuff, which is bun and cheese. And I'm going to be frying some fish. I'm going to do a full on Jamaican Easter this Easter. Yeah. Bye.